Okay, guys, good morning. It's uh, uh, Thursday morning, and uh, we can call it No Fuel Thursday because it's fixing to get it's fixing to get crazy out here, man. So I did a little video yesterday of me chasing fuel. Uh, I didn't upload it because I had all that other stuff that I was putting on. Uh, uh, you know, but uh. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, not looking good, y'all. So the fuel issue is a big deal. Uh, I, you know, I've been in business for 15 years, and I've never had this kind of an issue. Uh, so I don't know what everybody's gonna do, uh, but you know, being self-employed, it's just another curveball you gotta dodge. You know what I mean? Uh. And it goes back to a lot of things that we talk about all the time. You know, <clears throat> if you're able to get gas, you better seize the moment. I know that. So yesterday, I number one is I called all my contacts that are in the gas business, the gas station owners, ten, uh, ten, tenants, and uh, uh, all the people that I have, uh, you know, done work for uh that are in the gas business you know from you know uh the gas stations that i cut you know over the years and i've cut a lot of them in my general area and being in business you kind of know what stations are big and busy and which ones are not and and, and that kind of thing so i made about eight phone calls yesterday because it was not working and uh uh, I found a gas station that had gas that that did not limit the gas. That's what they said, you know, but they could run out any time. So I took a chance. I put both mowers on. Both my mowers were empty. Both my gas mowers and this truck was on three quarters of a tank. And I drove 35 miles one way pulling a trailer to get fuel. Okay? That's how that's how uh and it's a risk too because you don't know that you're going to be able to get fuel out there. When I call my buddy that works at the big gas station out there, he says, "Yeah, they got fuel now, but you never know it could end." You know, he said, "There's lines." So you know, uh, I, I I didn't even I had on a pair of shorts. It was cold. He said, "I threw on a t-shirt and uh, rolled up out of the house uh, and didn't even have my damn phone." Uh, so of course, I had to go back in and get my phone, but. I was so giddy over getting fuel because see we were not we were not going to be able to work. It's amazing how uh, it's amazing how we depend on fuel. Okay, amazing. I mean, and I don't worry about losing a customer behind that because if I can't do it, can't nobody else do it either. You know, if I can't get fuel, can't nobody else get fuel, right? So yeah it's pretty bad uh it's pretty bad here where i'm at uh but you know you, you just have to do what you got to do man so we had planned on not working the rest of the week pretty much because after uh what was it after tuesday getting caught in the rain and having all the fuel issues i had i i, I mean i couldn't get fuel I couldn't get fuel on my way home or nothing. So, it was bad, man. Real bad. So, yeah. So, I appreciate all the comments on the video yesterday about on Ninja Nick, man. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, a couple guys came on there and they got a little upset with me about, you know, well, it's, it's a contract. You know, one guy came on there. I guess he was uh, defending Nick, you know, and I wasn't trying to go sideways at Nick or nothing, but he said, he said, you know, it's a contract. It's a binding contract. Well, and he, 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 he tried to, well, he said that, well, it's just like Terminex and True Green and cable TV and, and, you know, all that. Well, it ain't nothing like that. I mean, I don't know how he, you know, I guess, I don't know how he got, he got that 
got, got his brain thinking it's like that, but it ain't nothing like that. The customer voluntarily paid up front. It's not, uh, you know, uh, uh, I mean, it's not mandatory to pay up front, you know, to have Nick uh, uh, do the lawn. You know, she voluntarily did that. That's what Nick said anyway. I'm just going, I, only all the information I got is what Nick said in his video. So, you know, uh, you know, I don't see how you can correlate somebody voluntarily paying you up front uh, against uh, a place like Terminex or, uh, you know, we, the Weed Man or whatever. When they, they're, it's mandatory you pay up front. It's mandatory you pay for a year. So if you pay for a year, then they know how much money they got coming in and it'd be dumb to fire them, right? <laughs> so that's why they do it. Now, in the lawn care and in this particular situation with him, that's not the case. She voluntarily paid up front. So it's a given, to, if you ask me, the more I think about it, it's a given that you're going to have to give her her money back. That's just, I mean, you know, right is right and wrong is wrong. You know what I mean? So, you know, there's no, you know, there's no really no middle ground there. I mean, you know, I, I, I don't think. But anyway, uh, yeah, so that's about all I really got to say on that, man. Appreciate all the comments, so get y'all fired up a little bit. But back to this freaking fuel issue, man. I don't know what the hell, man. This fuel issue is a pretty bad deal, man. So, uh, I don't know what we're going to do, but uh, I know that I can run today and tomorrow. You know, and anytime I see fuel along the way while I'm working, I'm pulling up in there and getting fuel. Anytime I can see it. Well, right, man, you will. You, you, you one of the people they talking about hoarding fuel. I don't know what, I don't, I, I mean, I, I got to do what I got to do, man. To me, it's, it's about survival. You know, I have to work, you know, and without fuel, I can't work. So, there's that, you know, and so, I'm not hoarding gas. I'm gonna make sure, if at all possible, that I can, that I can keep running, you know. Uh, you know I mean, I don't know. So today we got a big long list. Uh, everything is kind of condensed a little bit because again, the other day we were smart about and we survived uh, the other day uh, out there on that big cut, got all that done. Just think if we had to do that big cut today. I, that big cut would have got pushed to next week knowing what I know now about the fuel issue and all. Uh, so the Ferris did run out of diesel, uh, but not completely out. You know, when it started sputtering, like I said in the video, I turned it off. So, and I did not try to crank it back. So when I filled it up with diesel fuel, it, uh, it, it, it cranked back to life and it's running great. So, yeah, I got both of the x marks full of fuel yesterday. Uh, and yeah, so everything is, uh, Everything is hunky dory right this minute as we speak right now. <laughs> but you know, you never know, man, how this shit's gonna shake out. So we just pulled up on the first one. <clears throat> and uh this customer uh excuse me y'all meeting. This customer's been my customer for a long time since the very beginning. Her husband hired me. He was in the military, and actually, he actually killed himself. So, the ramp, the ramp's binded up. That's some wet grass, dude. Be careful on it. And uh, I'm having a problem getting your gate. I'll get the gate. Okay, yeah, all right. I'm just letting you know. All right. Cool. So, uh, I know the grass is a little wet over here, but I ain't worried about it. We're going, we're going, we're going to cut it. And, and we got to, man. This fuel thing has got us kind of jammed up where there's no room for uh, skipping and things like that. We got to be, uh, that red max up's a little bit, it's 
a little bit cold natured, you know. It don't matter how hot it is outside, it's a little bit cold natured. But uh, she telling me over here, she has somebody else, you know, a big company coming here and do the work. And I know they charge her arm and a leg. I could have done the work, but you know, I just don't hardly have time, man. So I understand, you know, I'm not, I'm not upset about her getting somebody else to do the install. She didn't know that I have equipment to do all that with because I really don't, don't push it that much uh, in the summertime. Because in the summertime, man, I just have to do the lawns, man. You know, I don't have time. All right, y'all, so we got, uh, okay, so we got three done, and we headed over here to meet with Drew now. Yep. Uh, one thing I noticed about the Ferris, y'all, it's so heavy that it, it, it does not like little wet yards. Mm. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, well, that yard right there, dude, is, so busy or so Dude, they got so much crap in that yard mm -hmm. so yeah y'all so we got we got three done we handed me drew and also uh we cooking with gas so it's about what four drew, i know drew ought to be don't ask him well yeah yeah linda can linda can no we ain't got linda can on the nancy cannon right? yeah nancy cannon yeah. he ought to be done on uh, nancy cannons mm -hmm. and he should have been done over there. Yeah, I mean, that's ten thirty. Yeah, he, I mean, he he should be about done with this one. Mm -hmm. With the one of them, you at know, least thirty minutes on it. Yeah, at least. At least thirty. Because he got up my house about ten minutes after eight. Oh, okay. So he he left before I left. Mm -hmm. You know, and he was just going right up the street to Nancy King. He was already yeah. cutting yeah, before I ever left. Oh, cool. Okay. So he started over there probably about eight thirty, eight fifteen. Well, you were in my house at eight thirty. Okay, so yeah, he started about eight fifteen then. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. He ought to have been done there and about done with this one too. Mm -hmm. Where uh, we can. Trip the guys. <laughs> yeah. Nice. The biggest one, the hardest one today is going to be what's her name? The one y'all going to next. Yeah, I got you. You know, uh, uh, Nicole. Yeah, Nicole Ramsey. Yeah. yeah. yeah and y'all got to make sure when y'all go there, first thing y'all need to do is make sure that dog can't get out. I know, yeah. Because she will call me. Got cameras, and so yeah, I keep the back gate. Uh, well, you'll keep the gate on the on the on the deck closed. On the deck closed, and then when yeah. I walk through the first gate, I'll keep yeah. it closed too. Just close the deck on the both gates on the deck. Right, and then then there should be yeah, and there should be no worries. She won't say nothing anyway. I got you. The dog done got out a couple times, but the dog always seems to come back. So. Huh. I know. And it's an old dog, so. Oh, okay. And this is gonna be where you guys uh, separate from me, and y'all go on over there and get started on that one while I finish cutting this, uh, this over here. So. And then we're gonna take care of the veranda and the two Karens. Well, you know, you're gonna do the, you're gonna do I mean, Nicole, after, and after then, Nicole. and then the, uh, and then the veranda. I need to get the push mower done over there so we can use it down at Karen to two Karens. Gotcha. Sorry about that, y'all. Okay, so the uh, the Ferris here. So I got the solid tires on the front. Y'all see them? Yeah. So a little bit dirty right now, but uh, yeah, Ferris is blacked out, y'all. You you know. So I'm having a problem with it, it when I when I put this when I put this in neutral here it wants to keep going that way. So I printed off this uh this sheet right here off out of the manual and we're gonna try to we're gonna try to adjust this neutral real quick. Uh so one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, so they're on number, they're on number seven now. So, and then we got eight, nine, yeah. So, it's 12 o'clock, man. So we're doing all right, man. We're doing all right. Especially when you consider where we was headed. 
we was headed not to work. That's where we was headed. So just the ability to work is, uh, it, you know, uh, it's a big deal. So fuel is still scarce. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah. So the Ferris, when I put it in, like I was showing you guys, when I put it in neutral, and also all this started happening to me the, uh, since the other day when I had to release the hydros. The other day when the thing, when the, when the uh, Ferris was on the big field, and you know, and I told you guys that, you know, uh, that it felt like it ran out of fuel. Well, that, uh, I had to uh, release the hydros on it to be able to push it up on the trailer. So, and ever since I did that, it's been, uh, it's been, uh, you know, lurching forward on, on the right hand side, if you're sitting on the machine. So I just adjusted it and quit lurching forward, but the, uh, The other side now is so fast. It's a lot, well, it's a lot faster than the side I just suggested. So what that tells me, I'm thinking, and I'm not going. I don't have time to fool with all that today. I'm fixing to uh, drop. The, I got to drop by my house, so I'm going to drop that mower off at the house and put the skag on here. Uh, what that tells me is that when I released the hydros the other day, when you when you put the hot when you when you uh, turn the hydros, you know, back on. They, 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 they got to be turned at the same distance, you know, as far as. Uh, so I get because I guess that thing that you turn is what controls the flow of fluid to the pump or whatever. I'm thinking that. So, uh, yeah. So when I, you know, out in the field. The other day, released the hydros and turned them back on. I did not, you know, I just, I just turned them back on. I didn't really pay attention to how tight I turned one or how many turns I turned the other one or all that. I'm thinking that this side over here on the Ferris uh, needs another half a turn or whatever on the hydro release uh, bolt nut or whatever you want to call it. I figured all out. Ain't a big deal. Uh, but the Ferris is so heavy. It's real heavy compared to a regular mower. And that's one thing that uh, I did not really, I don't know, that I haven't really experienced as a heavy mower like that. Because I'm going to get the Skag and bring the Skag out. Because this is the lightest mower I got. And we're going to, I'm going to use the Skag to cut that big Bermuda yard that we cut over here. So, you know, we'll probably work another, you know, probably around three hours or so. Uh, okay, so none of the local people got gas here, so we, uh, we, 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 <laughs> this shit's crazy, dude. I might have to go out tomorrow, I might have to go out tonight and chase gas again. I don't know if we got enough to make it all day tomorrow. Uh, I don't know. We probably do. I don't know. It's borderline. Y'all know me. I love borderline. Let me add this. Let me add this up so far, man. Uh, all right, guys. So here we are. We are at the last one of the day and uh this is one that uh i was doing and uh you guys a lot of you guys were saying that you know okay this is well i've okay, this this yard is starting to, to grow on ray okay uh y'all seen it before uh but the, today what we're gonna do today See, the last time I cut this one, I cut it with the Ferris. 
and it was a little bit wet down in there. Well, what ends up happening, what ends up happening when it's wet like that is, uh, well, the ferris is so heavy, so it put black marks on her driveway, and she did not like that. So today, we're going to use the lightest mower I got, and that's that Skag Turf Tiger 2. I think I can strike this up really good with that Skag. Uh, and I got to say, y'all, uh, uh, the Skag is growing on me a little bit, you know. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, as long as you don't take too much off of it, you know, the Skag does great. You know, I got to put y'all on the tripod. Because I ain't got no... My battery about went dead in this thing, so... I'm going to let y'all... I'm going to set you guys up to watch me strike this... To watch me strike this 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 this, this one right here. So... After I do this one, I tell you what... After I do this one right here a couple more times, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run me some lines like this. Right through here. I just got to do it a couple more times. Let me let me make sure I got it, you know, thing down. Uh, but yeah, Turf Tiger 2, uh, 31 horsepower Briggs is going to cut this one. Uh, so, yeah. Time lapse coming. Alright y'all. Skag cut that pretty good, didn't it? I think it did. Uh I didn't take a lot off. I got the skag on was three oh it's three point seven five, y'all. And that's the front yard. That's that skag striping that Bermuda, y'all. Y'all see that pretty did pretty good man, if you ask me. And if you try to go any lower, well I don't know but uh yeah that looks great to me so she should be happy with that uh i gotta cut the back but this grass this is some nice grass here you can tell they put chemicals on it so yeah that's that old skag y'all peace out all right y'all that's a wrap man we had a good day i don't know how many we did but we did a bunch and everybody got done nobody got hurt and everybody paid and we caught we caught up a few more yards that we that we're behind you know but it's four o'clock so you know that ain't you know that ain't that bad man considering uh, what all we did but i ain't ate no lunch man i'm hungry man i'm gonna go home and eat me a semi but, uh, yeah, so what are you guys doing about fuel, man? Uh, especially you guys on the East Coast, man. I'm kind of curious. Uh, are you guys finding fuel or what? Uh, I think, I think I got enough fuel to run tomorrow, I think. 
Now tomorrow I will I will be taking the Ferris with us. I'm not going to be taking the Skag because uh, because the Ferris is diesel and the Skag is gas. And if we run out of gas and I can't get no gas, then the Ferris is a, is the uh, will be the go-to mower. So uh, what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to take all the I'm going I'm to take the, the cans of gas that I got the, the ten gallons. I got in cans and I'm gonna put I'm gonna fill Drew's mower up and so when he gets over there to that big cut tomorrow he, uh, he, he I ain't got to worry about him running out of fuel because for me to run out of fuel I can handle everything because I'm gonna have the Ferris but for him to run out of fuel he's down and that's unacceptable tomorrow. That's unacceptable anytime, but for sure tomorrow. So that's the goal, man. Got to be thinking about tomorrow, man. Like right now, I'm thinking about okay, where can I get gas at, man? Uh, and tomorrow, if I uh, if I have to break off from these two from these two guys, put them in the truck together for whatever reason, then then I, I then I'll stop and get, get fuel. Now I'll stop and get fuel. If I see a station that's got fuel, but you know, I don't know, man. There, <laughs> but there's no place around here that's got fuel, man. Not, not, not right here where I live at. So they're gonna start. They're gonna start. Um, yeah, but after tomorrow, if I don't get fuel after tomorrow, oh, we're gonna be down. So I'm hoping this fuel thing will lighten up, I, you know. Uh, but any opportunity I get to get fuel, I'm doing it. And I assume you guys are too. Uh, anyway, we had a great day. I don't even know how much money we did, but I got some extra on a couple of them. But uh, everybody got paid good, including me. And supposed to get paid good I'm the one that has to worry about all this stuff man like this gas and the rain and blah 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 anyway I hope everybody has a wonderful wonderful afternoon and y'all be safe out there running run around these gas stations man there's gonna be some treachery going on watch out peace out y'all